Hey YouTube, I'm the Hike Hunter Sarah doing another action figure review. Now, just before I proceed, just to say that these reviews are intended for collectors over the age of 13 years old. Just to abide by the FTC and COPA rules. So, for this review, I am reviewing the Amazon exclusive uh, Bounty Hunters 40th Anniversary Edition figures. So, I have Forlom and Zuckus. And if you're wondering why I'm calling this guy Forlom and not this guy, there is a small brief anniversary issue or brief history of these figures. And it even says it on the back of the box. So if I just move the figures aside for the moment, flip around the back of the box. I'm not sure if you'll be able to read this, but it says, When Kenner first produced the Forlom and Zuckus figures, the name somehow got reversed. But since these two bounty hunters were not identified in the film, the switch was not immediately noticed. When the mix-up was finally caught and corrected in 1989, Zuckus and Forlom finally got back their full, uh, their rightful identities. This exclusive set, we are paying homage to the first appearance of these bounty hunters that puzzled so many for years with replicas of the original packaging switch names and all. And that is from Hasbro. And if I take out the inner packaging, I only have one of them. I thought I'd brought both of them. You can see they come on the vintage style Kenner style vintage collection or the um, Kenner style packaging. This is the one for Forlom aka Zuckus so you can see an image of the actual character a photo of the character from the film it has Empire Strikes Back it's the 40th anniversary of Empire and flipping around the back of the box there's other figures in the wave so you have Forlom with a um which is the one in this package Luke Bespin Yoda Princess Leia Han Solo Bespin sorry um Leia is in the hoth gear best spin hand solo and 8080 driver so not sure if you can see those there I just bring my camera up you can see them and, and it says commemorating the 40th anniversary of star wars empire series back but figures from the black series featured classic design and packaging so i will leave this there unfortunately i forgot to bring over zuckus this one at the time of this recording but it, it's identical to the forlorn one just with an image of this guy instead so he comes each figure comes with one accessory so for for uh, zuckus you got this blaster rifle which is similar in design to the one that some of the stormtroopers came with as well so it's just a big long rifle done all in black there's no paint apps on it most of the paint apps are on the figure. Well, I say most of the paint apps are on the figure. If I bring in the actual vintage, or the Black Series version, his rifle has an actual metallic wash to it. In fact, it has two, if I just take it out of his hands, it actually has two paint applications. So you have metallic wash on the main area of the rifle, and then the stock is actually black. So there is paint apps on the uh, the newer, well, I wouldn't say newer, this, the other guy's newer. There is paint apps on this version. Uh, he has the kind of rusty wash going on. Um, I have done a review of this guy. What's interesting to note as well, even though the heads are the same, I'm not sure if they did the same thing with this guy because if you, I'm not sure if it's picking it up. And this, actually, if I just bring a light source in, you can see the head is actually translucent. Uh, the eyes on the head are translucent. And as far as I know, the whole head is probably made from the same plastic. So it, if over time the paint starts pe peeling off this, it'll probably become more and more translucent. This guy doesn't seem to have that same thing. If I shine the light up there, you can't see any translucence between the eyes. So this one might have a solid... Uh, plastic for the head sculpt articulation wise is the same uh, on both versions so arms can swivel around has a hinge inside go out that much because they're hindered by the shoulder piece 
has a upper shoulder swivel, has a elbow joint, but I would stress to be very careful with these because I have the tree CPO or C tree PO from the is it Chewbacca? It's the again from Empire when uh, he's been disassembled and one of the pylons or the struts here on the tree PO broke on me. So it is designed to go kind of forward. There is a full hinge on it. I'm not sure if you can see it on the screen. There's a full hinge on these, but they're not designed to stretch all the way out. He does have wrist uh, swivel with a hinge, so it goes in and out for the left hand, and it's an up and down for the right with the trigger finger. He has a ball joint at the waist. He has legs that can only go out that much because, again, hindered by the sculpting. He has an upper thigh swivel. Legs can go forward that much, not so much back because of the sculpt, and it's the way the mo most of the droids, protocol droids, were anyway. Uh, single joint on the knee. You can bend the leg both directions. And there is a forward rocker joint on the ankle with forward and back as well, but the forward and back on this guy is pretty stiff, so I don't want to uh, overstress it. Nothing in the lower waist, so you have that. You can have him hold the rifle in two hands, as you saw at the start of this review. It's not the best, but he can do it. And moving on to Forlam, which I'll just put Forlam next to Zuckus. I know, it's going to get crazy or confusing. And here is the Forlam figure. So, Forlam figure is pretty much identical to the uh, Black Series one. Uh, only difference is, is the colouring, the paint applications. His um, robe or coat is a lot lighter, which is how the original figure looked. Um, the original action figure from me looked far more beige than this kind of dark brown that the uh, he later became to be known as. I will just go quickly over the accessory, which is just his gun. There's some key differences between them. Well, one major key difference. The new one just has plain black, which is the way the Kenner style gun would have come. And the, or so, yeah, and the kind of original Black Series one actually has brown paint applications, which is the way the actual gun, a prop gun looked. I actually have that. What's interesting to note is he's a left-handed character. His hand only has, he, he, the only trigger finger hand he has is a left hand one. His right hand doesn't have the uh, trigger finger. So you can get him to hold the rifle. Well, it's kind of like a shotgun in two-handed poses quite nicely. He does have a ball joint head just like the other. But I would stress on over stretching it because <clears throat> he has these tubes that run down his entire length of his body and go into a section on the back of his um, web gear. So if you were to overstretch it, it may break those. His head is actually on a ball joint compared to a um, as like a single ball joint compared to the ball joint with a. a was it a forward and back joint on it? It's just a standard ball joint. His arms can go out that much. He does have double elbows, which you can't unfortunately see. If I pull back his top, you might be able to see it. He has weird um, skin on his arms. It's similar to the skin design on his head, but it's not. Uh, it doesn't have the wash applied to it. He does have a rotating wrist and joints he has the upper by uh, upper shoulder swivel as well so you can get him into some good posing unfortunately most of his body is covered by this robe he does have a waist swivel as well i think it's a ball joint on the upper torso just like um zuckus and he does have splits 
you can actually see his legs if i pull back the robe a bit better you can actually see the joints so he has the upper thigh swivel double jointed knees rocker ankles all the good stuff that the black series is known for it's just it's it not really hindered but it is covered up mostly by the robe you can get some good posing out of him but uh if you're just a you know a fan of that scene from empire with all the bounty hunters they're probably just gonna have him posed in a kind of a standing position anyway holding his rifle like he was in the film and then have all the bounty hunters around him but he overall he's a cool figure um i don't know which one is better which one i prefer i do like the darker head uh wash on the original black series version but this new one is quite cool and the paint apps are different enough so it looks like it's another one of the species if you're kind of like wanting to do more background characters for diorama shots same with um zuckus uh he looks different enough from the other version of his droid self that you could use him as a different bounty hunter droid uh and just for another size comparison here he is here they are standing alongside if we can just get that legs straighten out one of the standard original black series stormtroopers these guys are a bit old now so his white armor isn't as shiny as it used to be and here he is alongside or here they are alongside another one of their bounty hunter brethren the galaxy's most feared bounty hunter boba fett Unfortunately, one of the uh, hoses on mine has snapped. Don't think I'll go and get like the new one. There is a new version of him on the way, I think, as far as I know. That's part of the 40th anniversary of um, Empire, but I don't think I'll be bothered. This guy's an original one that came in the old Black Series packaging. I've had him for quite a long time. So, just bringing this tape measure. Zuckus is quite small, as he should be, because he was actually a small bounty hunter compared to the others. He's about 5.5 inches height. And just going off this one, because it's closer, he stands in around the 6. So he does have the right height. As you can see, uh, Zuckus, or Forlom, whichever way you want, to, w w version of the name you want to use, does... Uh, as in these guys do stand a good bit smaller than their uh, bounty hunter brethren. I do kind of hope that with season two of the Mandalorian, we might get to see another one of these guys species come into play because you don't really know much about them other than that one scene in Empire. Oh, well, unless well, there's probably expanded comics and stuff like that that show them in action, but I've I, any of the media, you know, the live action media or the animation stuff i haven't seen them in so you have seen ig88 or ig11 now so i've seen the ig units bosk is probably another one i'd like to see you do see more Trando trandoshian characters not particularly bosk himself but like other trandoshians in uh, mandalorian so they are out there but you don't generally seem to see many of this guy or the Four long droid so uh, hopefully we'll might see some more of the kind of classic uh empires characters come back in for mandalorian season two so there you go guys hope you enjoyed this quick video review for the exclusive bounty hunter set uh, as i say in my videos please feel free to like comment and subscribe to my channel cheers guys